This week's episode of the Piedmont Motion Picture Show is a two-parter as we take a look at the Feutech SPG2 Smartphone Stabilizer. And that starts right now. Hey guys, Ryan Camp here with the Piedmont Motion Picture Company. Thank you so much for joining me today. This channel is all about learning and growing as a filmmaker. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and let's become better filmmakers together. This week on the show, we're taking a look at the Feutech SPG2 Smartphone Stabilizer. And I've broken this video down into two separate parts. This video, the first video, is going to focus on the unboxing of the gimbal and a broad overview of its features. And the second part of the video will focus on an in-depth tutorial and some cinematic test footage. Be sure to stick around until the end of either video and I will share an exclusive code just for Piedmont Motion viewers and you can save up to 10% off when you purchase the SPG2. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's check out the SPG2 smartphone gimbal. First, let's open up the gimbal and see what we have inside. You'll find the gimbal itself, of course, a micro USB charging cable, a snazzy little tripod accessory, various adapters for charging your phone while it's mounted in the gimbal, and of course you will need your smartphone, not included. If you see an ion battery included with your gimbal, remove the bottom cap from the gimbal and insert the ion battery. My gimbal came with the battery pre-installed, so your experience may vary. Once you have the battery in, plug in the micro USB charging cable and plug it in to fully charge your gimbal before using it. Next, we can mount our smartphone in the gimbal. Pull the upper and bottom side of the holder to make it a little bit wider than your smartphone. Put your smartphone in and make it fastened to the smartphone. Note that it is recommended to remove any case or protective shell that you might have on your smartphone for better balancing. Also, for reference, I am using my iPhone 8 Plus with this gimbal and it fits just fine. Now we need to balance the gimbal for optimal performance. If you notice that the phone sits left or right in the gimbal, loosen the knob ring and slide the cross arm to the opposite side. After sliding it left or right to find the perfect balance for your phone, then you can tighten the knob ring back to lock it in place. Now let's go over these buttons and knobs and familiarize ourselves with the SPG2's layout. This is the gimbal's display screen. Here you will find useful information like Bluetooth connectivity, its charging status, battery capacity, and what working mode and shooting mode the gimbal is currently in. This is the joystick. It moves the gimbal in different directions. Here is the function button. This button is used to power on and off the gimbal, and it can also change the various follow modes. This is the shutter button. Once you've connected the gimbal to the Feutech companion app, you can use this button to take a photograph or control video recordings. On the side, we have the settings button. This will let you switch to the volume interface or the main interface, and it will let you switch the smartphone shooting modes. To the other side, we have the multifunction knob. On the bottom is the thread mount where we put in the battery earlier. This section here is referred to as the pan axis. This is the vertical arm. This is the tilt axis. And this is called the smartphone holder. Here we have a micro USB port for charging the smartphone while it's in the gimbal. This is called the cross arm. This is the roll axis. And on the back, of course, we have the knob ring, which we used to balance the gimbal earlier. We have a horizontal adjustment button, a thread mount on the side, the trigger button, which can reset the gimbal's orientation and lock it in place. And of course, we have the micro USB port for charging the gimbal itself. Now you should have a good idea of all the various buttons and parts of this gimbal. Now we are ready to download the companion app, power on the gimbal, pair the companion app with the gimbal, and start shooting some awesome stabilized footage with our smartphone. 
Be sure to watch part 2 of this video for an in-depth tutorial on how to use your SPG2, as well as a look at some cinematic test footage that I shot this week using this gimbal. Ok guys, that does it for the overview of the SPG2. Be sure to check out part 2 for an in-depth tutorial on how to use this gimbal with some cinematic test footage. That should be hitting the channel very soon. Question of the day, do you own a gimbal as part of your smartphone filmmaking kit? If so, what are you using and how do you like it? Let us know in the comments below. As promised, here is your code for 10% off when you buy the SPG2 from the Feutech online store. And of course, you can find a link to the store in the description below. Just enter the code RYAN at checkout and you're all set. Now this code is only good for up to 3 months after the posting of this video. So hurry over and check it out if you're interested so you don't miss out on these savings. Also, if you're interested in supporting this channel in any way, we have merch for sale, we have an online digital store with awesome filmmaking resources, some of them free, and we have a Patreon page where you can become a patron just like these awesome guys right here. Get your name featured on the show like these guys, get access to exclusive videos, and much more. Links to all of this stuff can be found in the description below. Also, the most important way you can support this channel is to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for coming along on this filmmaking journey with me. I am Ryan and I will see you on the next Piedmont Motion Picture Show.